we are uh, out today in the MI-24 Hind over Syria in support of the Syrian government. It seems that there are some rebels who are driving from this town over here to a town right behind us. So, I'm gonna try to try to find them in the dark. God help us. Um, is it that road? That road goes south. Let's go. On board, we've got uh, two gun pods that have two 7.62 and one 12.7 machine gun each. And then I've got my 30 mil cannon, obviously, that comes with the helicopter. And finally, we've got eight anti tank guided missiles. Dude, tell me you see those, please. Because we cannot afford to not use ATGMs. Yeah, okay, I definitely see something. Go for the front vehicle. Okay. Sorry, random town. Okay, we are taking return fire. Good news is we have a fire going now. <laughs> it's like a survival fire. We can actually see targets. Let's, uh, we're gonna switch all the way over to ATGMs. We'll turn around and we'll have a uh, pet look that way. Uh, ZU-23. Okay, we did kill some sort of anti-air unit. It's a TT ZU. Oh, I think that's the truck. The um, Helix truck. Sides aligned. Come on, brother. Looking for targets. I see something. Okay, you can't see it. I'm going in. Oh my goodness gracious, that was so cool. We just melted that dude. Oh my gosh. The hind is fantastic, guys. Wow. That, and if you want to use ATGMs at night, apparently you have to bring flares, because uh, Petrovich, he ain't seeing much. And to be honest, I can't, I can't blame him. We got lucky too. There's, it seems like there's only a few things that are firing. So there's a good chance that we were gonna go run into like a Ural or something and get shot at wasting ammo on that. Uh, Put the shit near the front. That seemed like it was the uh, spicy stuff. Yep, there's one. Observe off. Up, 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 power. Shit. 
shit, shit, shit. That's okay. Behind is uh, a bit tough. Let's fly out for a little bit. Systems look good. Uh, okay. Shoot. We'll just keep it at the front. I mean, I don't... Can't tell who is shooting at us. He's not helping anything. <laughs> it looks like we're running out of ammo here, guys. That's going to be problematic. We do have the 30 mil, though. So we can go in and do precise runs with that. <clears throat> we didn't take fire. At least I didn't see us take fire on that last run. Get that truck. That looks like a UAZ. Oof. Oh my goodness, that was a close burst. I still don't know where he's from. I'm not sure. Maybe in the rear of the convoy? I mean... Maybe we'll take some longer shots here. We need more airspeed, don't we? Oh yeah. Just spray and pray. Okay, pods are out. Look, that's tight. Now we can't stay on the same course for too long because we will get shot at. And now we need to switch over to our 30 mil. Observe off. Okay, check. Um, our rate of fire. Let's keep that actually low because I want to be able to maintain our our target. When you put it on high, it gives you a shit ton of recoil. Oh, it's on high. All right, we'll switch it for the next one. Okay, Shack 2. That's a UAZ. What's that? That's a UAZ. And while we turn, just come in here. Decrease 30 mil. Yeah, I definitely want lower rate of fire since there's so many targets. I don't want to go Winchester without taking out as much as I can. Although, I mean, looks looks like we did a good number, huh? Oh, yeah, there's at least four right here. Oh gosh, get control of it, Joe. Damn, we shacked four on that? We did. 
Let's fucking go. Be a little bit easier than the the increased rate of fire. But I mean, I guess if we had it on that one, it would have been tight because it would have just like drawn a line down them. But we ended up only using like 14 rounds. I see that guy right next to the fire. We're coming in too hot. Coming in too hot. There we go. Fix our AOA. We're going to have to side shoot this guy. Okay, right, I see one. One in the back, it looks like. One left. If you haven't picked up the hind, boys, it's uh, a heck of a lot of fun. Plus, it's a two-seater. Turning too hard. Easy for me to do that, and then we lose airspeed? Yep. When you lose airspeed in the hind, you have a bad, bad day. At least I do, because I can't fly worth a damn. That makes these attacks awkward. Oh, there's two right there. See? Look at that. Awkward as fuck. Okay, there's one left here. There's UAZ. That's blown up. It's much easier when I can get a good trim, maintain speed, and kind of treat it like a uh, prop aircraft. Okay, I see him. We're in. Go for that front one. He's tiny. He's going to be hard to see. Back one. Nice. I'm kind of surprised. I, I didn't really uh, think that the MI-24 would be night capable. After flying the KA-50 at night, it's it leaves a lot to be desired, you know? It's definitely doable, but it's it's challenging. But this is pretty good. Definitely would be outclassed at night by the Apache. Oh, there's one on the left side. You. I'm assuming other ones on the right. Yep. Okay. Long range slip shot. Look good. A little bit short. Okay, and we should have that one more. And you know what? If anybody in the original convoy is still alive, they were smart enough to stop moving, so they can live and tell the story, huh? There we go. A terrible pass, but I'll take it. All right, ladies and gents. Well, mission accomplished. I hope you enjoyed. Took some fire, but uh, we ended up being okay.